cocktail onions expired. Gross. Is that a sock? Ugh. Oh, hey, SolidWorks users. So I've got a broken shelf in our refrigerator here, and I figured I'd take the opportunity to clean out our fridge before I hit SolidWorks and 3D printing to create a replacement shelf. But I was thinking it's back to school time, our kids are getting a little older, and we're trying to teach them a little more independence. So instead of designing just a simple shelf, I'm gonna design a custom built uh, juice dispenser that fits right into our refrigerator door. So the kids can come up, get up in the morning, and easily serve themselves. Throughout this three part series, we'll be running through some basic modeling techniques in SolidWorks. I'll run through splitting up and printing larger parts in 3D printing, and then we'll hit the workshop to assemble and finish all of our components. So after I finish cleaning up the fridge here, I'll take some measurements and we'll hit SolidWorks to run through designing our custom juice dispenser. Hey babe, you want to keep this bottle of uh, Dom Perignon Rose Gold? It's from 1996, kind of old. Babe? All right, go. Let's open up a new part file and start by sketching on the top plane. In order to make sure the juice dispenser will sit nicely in our refrigerator door, I'm going to import an actual image of one of the good shelves from our refrigerator to sketch around. To do this, navigate to Tools, Sketch Tools, Sketch Picture, and I'm going to scale and orient the image against a sketched line that is dimensioned to a known dimension of the shelf. In this case, I've measured the width of the shelf to be 13.8125 inches. So I have a construction line dimensioned accordingly to align the image to. And just sketch around the image to match the outer edge of the shelf. I'm first matching the dimensions of this existing shelf and then I'll come back and add on top of the model to finish up the dispenser. So let's create a simple extruded boss, 3.72 inches thick. To create the cutout for the shelf, let's sketch on the top face and I'll use the Offset Entities tool to create a 0.15 inch thick wall. and just add a few arcs to match the internal shape of the existing shelf. Exit the sketch, enter the extruded cut tool, and instead of creating a blind extrusion, I'll select Offset from Surface in the drop-down under Direction 1, and then select the bottom face of the shelf. I'll offset this 0.15 inches to maintain a consistent wall thickness. Now let's soften up some of these sharp edges using the Fillet tool. I'll create another simple extruded cut using a sketch on the bottom face of the part. I 
again I'll use the offset from surface option to maintain this 0.15 inch thick flange on the top of the part. This feature needs to be mirrored to the other side, so select the plane to mirror about, in this case the right plane, then enter the mirror tool found in the command manager. Under features to mirror, you can either select the feature from the history tree, or simply click the features directly on the part, and click OK. Now we're ready to add a little extruded guide to each side of the part, which locks the shelf into the refrigerator door. Sketching on the right plane, I'm using digital calipers to match the dimensions and position of the lock on the existing shelf. After exiting the sketch, I'll again enter the extruded boss tool, but this time select Surface, Face, Plane from the drop down under From. Then select the surface you'd like the extrusion to start from and set the thickness dimension, in this case 0.3 inches. I'm going to be adding fillets and creating a few copies of this lock later on, so I'm going to uncheck the Merge Result option to leave this as a separate body for now. And I'll go ahead and soften up the lock with a few small fillets. So here we have a closely matching shelf that I'm confident will fit in our fridge. Now let's build the rest of the juice dispenser design into this foundation. I've measured the height of the plastic bottles I'll be using to store the juice, and I'm going to add a few additional inches of height to the dispenser to make sure I maintain clearance. So let's create a reference plane to extrude up to. Navigate to Reference Geometry, Plane, and select the interior bottom face of the dispenser. Here I'll dimension the offset of this plane to 12.25 inches. Now let's sketch on the top face of the part. And I'm going to use the Convert Entities tool to copy over the interior and exterior outlines of the top face. Again, entering the Extruded Boss tool, this time selecting the Up to Surface option from the drop down under Direction 1. And I'll select the newly created reference plane to extrude the shelf up to. To wrap up part 1 of the series, I'll create one final extrusion for the overhang where the juice will be dispensed from. Again, sketching on the top face of the part, I'm using the Convert Entities tool, this time just selecting the sketch from the previous feature to copy over to this active sketch. And I'll modify this sketch to include a 3 inch overhang. Exit the sketch and simply create a 0.25 inch thick extrusion. So here we have the initial layout of our juice dispenser. In part 2 of this series, we'll use some additional essential modeling techniques to add the lid and interior details to the dispenser. Stay tuned.